Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wogan, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost episode video. That's what these are. Today we're going to be talking about the next upcoming showcase, Cursed Connections Part 1 and actually Part 2, because in a thing that they never do, they actually showed us <laughs> Part 1 and Part 2. Usually they like to wait a little bit, but they decided to show both at the same time, so I'm going to be going over them, tell you how I feel about them, give some thoughts, that kind of stuff. So if you end up liking this video, you can leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Um, comment about how you feel about this one. Apparently there's a huge thing about one of the characters that I'll get into when we get to her. But uh, let's start here with uh, Seimei, the Flame Wand. Nothing is impossible for me, for I've mastered on Mayodo, the leader of the Ox Worm Clan, one of the twelve that ruled the eastern island nation of Hinamoto. He is a genius on Moji, the wielder of a magical power called Mayodo. Highly skilled, he prefers to work alone. Gozu Tenno is his packed worm. Okay. If the user does not have an active flame sh sh Shikigami, summon a flame Shikigami for 40 seconds. If the user has an active flame Shikigami, grants the user a 1 use shield that nullifies damage up to 20% of the user's maximum HP. The shield does not stack with any other shields of the same type. The flame Shikigami will automatically attack foes, but each attack will deplete the user's Shikigami gauge. Once the flame Shikigami attacks hit enemies, 15 times it will level up to level 2. <laughs> On level up, its 40 second timer will reset and its attacks will deal more damage. In addition, its attacks will reduce enemy defense by 10% for 10 seconds. This defense reduction will not stack and the Shikigami's automatic damage will not be treated as skill damage. Okay. On Mayado Exorcism. This skill can only be used while the user has an active Flame Shikigami and that consumes the user's Flame Shikigami. Deals flame damage to enemy directly ahead, reduces enemy defense by 10% for 20 seconds, and inflicts score rend. Scorch. This defense reduction will not stack. If the user's flame shikigami is level 2, the skill will deal more damage and also dispel one buff from each target. Shareable. So. Okay, so what makes the shikigami leave? I'm not saying that part where it says how long it will be here. Some, okay, 40 seconds. So in that 40 seconds... Okay, sure. Let's go to the co-op ability. Overdrive Punisher, Engage Excel... Oh, wow. <laughs> Mega Man's co-op ability? That's a rip to Mega Man. The only reason you ever used Mega Man was for the co-op ability. Man, oh, to be fair, he is limited. Well, I was about to say, he's limited, so what are your chances of getting him? This fool is going to show up at least two times a year. Mega Man has not shown up in at least two years, I think. Um, not two years, but it's going to get pretty close to two years of Mega Man not showing back up, so whatever. Um, that's that's crazy. Never thought. It was always a thing about him. Anyway, chain co-op ability, um, flame combo equal buff, skill time 15%. Abilities, Master the Shikigami 2, grants the user a Shikigami gauge and grants them a unique force strike that, while charging, deals damage and gradually fills this gauge. Stun resistance 100%. Shikigami via fire. Fills the Shikigami gauge by 50% every time the dragon gauge fills by 10%. Okay. Um, he sounds interesting. I don't know how... <laughs> how strong his little buddies are gonna end up being. Um, it does sound kind of cool. I do like these uh, units who specifically summon another little... That's my favorite thing about um, one of the Gal units that's currently escaping my head that I can't remember. A uh, Galaxy. Galaxy. Um, so I kind of like that idea about him. I do think it's kind of telling that this co-op ability is Mega Man's. Um, let me actually double check that it's actually Mega... If they're the exact same in everything. One moment. Okay, here we are at Mega Man. Overdrive Punisher and Gauge Accelerator increases damage to enemies in overdrive state by 15% and speeds the rate of mode gauge decrease by 10%. Yep. It's literally just Mega Man's co-op ability. That's hilarious, except for he might be good. <laughs> that was the thing about uh, Mega Man is that Mega Man, his skills suck. And a lot of things about Mega Man kind of suck. 
he needs he doesn't need a mana spiral he needs a full-on redone he needs to be like built different from like the ground up he's that bad i think um but whatever semi seems like you'd be pretty okay in my eyes if if anything you'll use this co-op ability if you don't have mega man that's for sure um here's the dragon goes to tenno Deals flame damage to enemies in a line and lowers their defense resistance by 10%. For the remainder of the quest, this resistance reduction will not stack, so he's similar to Midgar Sombra Zero. Flame strength 70%. Smoldering Spirit 2. If the user is attuned to flame, use a force strike. Using a force strike for three or more seconds, including both. Wait. If a user is attuned to flame, using a force strike for three or more seconds, including both charge and attack time, adds 30% to the modifier. Apply to damage against wind attuned enemies for 30 seconds. This increase will not stack and activate this ability will act again for 15 seconds. Okay. I was about to say, I'm not 100% sure what you do with a flame dragon, but you doing that will certainly help. It probably would be more useful for someone like um, Berserker Raphalos, you know, specific units who are tied 100% to their four strike. Plus, having the this resistance thing is nice. It doesn't, I think, completely replace Mars because Mars is a crazy powerhouse. But one, not everyone can get Mars. But at the same time, Goza Tendo is also going to be crazy limited. So I don't know who is getting this guy either. So I don't know. I think he's pretty good though. Um, it the the only thing that's an issue is this. He's run into the same issue every single Fire Dragon's going to run into, which is Mars exists. So. At least he's able to buff someone like Raphalos. Uh, um, not Raphalos, um, Berserker Raphalos. So that's something. All right, let's move on to the next unit who's gonna be in the next showcase. So in this showcase, you'll be able, uh, Gozatana will be featured. Uh, Saime will be in the banner, but he won't be featured. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, here's Yotsuts Yoshitsune. Um, the leader of the Ro Rooster Worm Clan, one of the twelve that rule the island nation of Hinamoto. She travels the world as a distinguished mercenary, and though she's over a hundred years old, um, she reverts to a youthful appearance in battle. So, first of all, I'm down for everything in here. I think I need to bring it up right away, because there's going to be at least one person who probably feels this way. Um, in which case, I don't feel that way. A lot of people wished... <laughs> that the old lady was the version we got. Um, I would have definitely loved the old lady version. I like both of those versions. At this point, she reminds me of Tsunade, which I also love Tsunade from Naruto, except for we never got to see Tsunade's old lady form. This to me is basically that, except for what if I could see um, Tsunade's old lady form and then I get also her giant busty youthful form. That's the best of both worlds in my eyes. Uh, but I get some people definitely would have preferred an old lady. An old lady character is not something you really see in many gacha games. So I, I'm i understanding. I don't agree. Because I would have... If an old lady SSR were to come out, I would have been cool when I tried for her. Then not actually care if I didn't get her. Now I care. <laughs> now I care significantly more. Um... Next we got, and her skills, let's actually get into her skill. Enough about her bust. Let's talk about her skills. Hey, my skills are down here. Let's go. Yes, I stopped that to make that dumb joke. Uh, Kumasaka Flash begins preparing a powerful shot, after which this skill will deal water damage to enemies directly ahead if, while preparing the shot, the user is hit by an attack that can be avoided with the damage immunity provided by skills. This skill will deal water damage to surrounding enemies and for 30 seconds increase the user's attack rate by 15%. The attack rate will... <laughs> the attack rate increase will not stack. Uh, Shanna Strike, shareable, deals water damage to the enemy and nearby enemies. Gauge acceleration, 20%. Chain Co-op ability, water dodge equals strength 10%. So if you dodge, you get 10% strength for 15 seconds. Okay... Nimble Repost. Dodging will carry out an additional attack towards the target. In addition, dodging an enemy attack will increase the user's attack rate by 10% for 30 seconds. This attack rate increase will not stack, and after activating, it will not activate again for 5 seconds. Flurry Strength and Stun Resistance, 100%. And Flurry Strength is at 20%. Um, I don't know if there's any other unit that benefits from dodging. I actually am curious, like... 
So if you just dodge, do you get it? Or do you have to literally dodge an attack for her buffs to work? Because um, if you're literally just dodging, then I can just see you every 10 seconds, someone just does a crazy dodge and you get crazy powerful, but I don't know how that actually works. I don't know. I kind of like her design. I like looking at her. So if for me personally, it really feels like I'm going to be... I, I think it's kind of obvious for, I guess, the beginning of New Year's. I'm not going to be rushing to make a video, especially because you get seven free multis. You get free multis on this banner. I actually see no reason for me to actually go into this. So for the first time in a very long time, I'm actually just not going to make a summon video for this guy, I think. I think what I'm going to end up doing is actually just recording all my seven free multis and see how that goes. Um... Because that feels like the 100% the smart way to play, especially with how um, limited we've been recently with um, a lot of the... What's the nice way of saying it? With how limited <laughs> we've been on free tickets and stuff, the fact that they're giving us an entire week of free multis says to me, this is the guy biting the bullet. Because this is the guy, they don't care if you pull. If you pull this guy and you have a full week of free multis, congratulations. The only thing you're looking for is this bull now. So I don't know. That's what I'm going to be doing. So don't expect a summon video from me because I'm not making one. <laughs> I'm, well, we'll see. Maybe I'll record all my seven multis and we'll, we'll do it that way. But um, yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to leave a comment, tell me how you feel. And I'll see you guys next time because my mom is coming home. See you later. Bye.